So, The Acolyte, it's over. Season two will never exist. I'm here for it. I love it. It's great. But, uh, do you remember like about a month ago, Amanda Stenberg came out with a cringe video on her Instagram saying, uh, she don't mess with your discourse, you know, and how like she basically poked fun of like everyone who doesn't like what she's doing. So, she made another video and this, uh, this uh, comes to us from X. Shout out my nerdy home, Stephanie, for posting this. Let's see. It's, uh, she says, uh, blaming your show's failure from the right, uh, the, from the hate from the alt-right. So let's see what she actually says. Eight minute video of her bitching. Hello. I, um, I thought I would get on here and just speak candidly. <laughs> I hate doing this. Then don't do I it. I doing this, but I'm going to do it. Um, I honestly, I don't use social media very much anymore. Um, and I'm Why? so happy about that. Because um, a lot of trolls are getting you, they're getting to you. There are many folks out there that I want to acknowledge and I want to show appreciation and love and support for. So that's why I'm hopping on here to talk about this. Um, which is that our show, our Star Wars show has been canceled. And I'm going to say, I'm going to be transparent and say that it's not a huge shock for me. <laughs> of course, I live in the bubble of my own reality, but for those who aren't aware, there has been uh, a rampage of vitriol that we have faced since the show was even announced, when it was still just a concept and when no one had even seen it. Uh, and that's when we started experiencing a rampage of, um, I would say, hyper-conservative uh, bigotry and vitriol, prejudiced hatred and hateful language towards wow. us. Ah, really? Um, oh, why is that? And, you know, this really affected me when I first got the job um because it's just not something even though i anticipated it happening it's not something you can fully understand what it feels like until it's happening to you um okay all right however, what else uh, what like what else moved through those feelings in various ways including being vocal about it myself um for me it just became a situation where there was no option but for me to uh, honor my sense of ethics and my belief system and my value system while being in this very unique position. Your, your uh, unique position being entitled? It's kind of like I had this very unique experience of uh, experiencing the world at large, which is, of course, hyper divisive right now. Um, through the lens of this very, very unique opportunity. Oh man, you could have Photoshop a dick right there. Ooh, would have been and bad. Don't do lot, it, chat. Don't do it. A lot, um, Don't do it. Political dynamics, a lot about my own value system, how I respond to that kind of hatred, how I move through the world at large. Are you oppressed or something? Isn't your dad white? Inarguable for me. I Aren't you like super rich? In order to uh, continue to be myself, I would have to honor my value system by being vocal even within the context of working for disney and and working um within the large i can't within the large massive ip that is star wars now here's the thing uh her acting is one thing okay her acting is a, a small piece of the pie of why the show sucks the show sucks is because of the writing that's it right the show sucks is also because of the directing, because the directors don't know how to fucking direct her to be a better actor. She has like no acting coach or anything like that. She has so much freaking money. Why couldn't she act? Or unless the directors told her, just be a piece of shit. Yo, you're a piece of shit in real life. Be a piece of shit in the show. Like that's, that's the only way I can see it, right? The thing is that she, her terrible acting it's like I said, it's a small piece of the pie. Leslie Headland did not make anything better. Uh, changing up, you know, the, the lore by bringing in uh, Keanu Mundi is a big failure to the, uh, the, the 
saying that this is supposed to be like a big the best star wars fight in any history it's like the best star wars fight ever it's like that you're, you're you're basically making people have extremely high expectations for something that's garbage right uh ha you actually have like two really good actors well actually i would say daphne Keene's also really good too uh but the uh, the guy who played soul from uh oh, what's it called again uh freaking uh squid games and then you have um uh, what's it called again? Uh, Manny Jacinto. Like, you have actually good people in there, but you have terrible writers and terrible direction. That's the reason why the show failed. Now, given the fact that you... Now, if she came out, like, sort of like Iman v Vellani, I believe that's, the, that's her name, the girl who plays Miss Marvel, and said, oh, I did my best. Um, it's okay if you guys didn't like it. Um, this show isn't for everyone. Uh, I understand uh, if you get if you guys didn't like it, but you know, thank you so much. This was a great opportunity to play this character. Like, if she came out being super humble, no one would give a shit. But she did exactly the opposite by making a shitty ass rap video on Instagram, and immediately, if anyone reacts to it, she copyright claims it. So, like, what is that saying? She has she has no humility, and her hubris got the best of her. And we're just halfway through. Now, here's the thing. If she basically says that I'm a conservative, uh, whoever, whoever did not like the show is a conservative, alt-right um, person, who, a bigot, I'm all of those things, okay? If, if, if you're saying I'm a bigot, I'm a bigot. If, if the fact that I hate the show, saying that I'm a, you're saying I'm an alt-right, I'm an alt-right. It is what it is, okay? Just call me whatever the fuck. It, whatever you call me, it does not matter anymore, okay? Words has lost, its, lost all of its meaning. It doesn't matter. Um, on that topic, I just have to say it has been an incredible honor and dream for me to be in this universe. Um, it still feels, even though, of course, I'm very sad about the show being canceled, um, and I'm sad about us not being able to give people who are invested into it more just feel a lot of levity and joy around the fact that you need to blame leslie headland she's the one it. who fucked it everything up um she fucked and it and that people loved it and that people were so responsive i poured through a lot of different iterations of fan art and ship art and fan theories and things that were just so beautiful and oh man filled my heart with joy oh man and i just want to let those people know out there who supported us in that way um and supported us vocally despite and in the face of all of the vitriol that we received and the kind okay. of the targeted attack we received by the alt right. Okay, um, there, there it is. There, there it is. The alt right. So basically, if a person has any kind of, you know, if we scrutinize your show heavily, saying that we like that the stuff that people are actually giving to show why they're actually saying it's really bad, those are act actually legitimate reasons why people don't like the show. Yes, are there a, a section of the people online saying they don't like the shows because it's, you know, it's extremely diverse for no fucking reason? Yeah, absolutely. There are people who are there people online who are absolutely racist for no reason. Absolutely. But it's the online and you need to grow a thicker skin. Grow a thicker skin. Just who cares? Ignore it, right? Stop being a pussy. If she sounds like she's learned from the word vitriol, yeah. And here's the thing. I think everyone just uses that word, right? A lot a lot of left people uses that word. I remember when I basically said the Rings of Power season one is the worst thing I have ever seen. In, and that's that's saying a lot. And then one of my woke right friend, uh, left friends, white left friends, who's his name is Pride, okay? His name is Pride saying... Uh, I don't get what's with the vitriol. I thought the show was really good. I'm like, what? Did, were you watching a different show? Yeah, I, and the thing is, like I said, she is a worse actress than Kristen Stewart. She is awful. She can't act. She has no... no she. I would say the Lion King, quote-unquote, live-action 3D... Those lions have more emotions than she does. 
She basically showed no emotion in the show. You have two character, one good guy, one bad guy. Both have no emotion. Who the fuck her acting coach, huh? Kristen Stewart do better than you in Twilight? Oh my goodness, this is so bad. Oh, this honor family. Deeply loved and appreciated and it made this job all the worthwhile for me and it made all of the, the challenging elements of it completely worthwhile for me. Um, and so that plus my love of sci-fi and fantasy and being able to be a part of the legacy of something that I so um, deeply um, value and something that means so much to me and, and I've looked up to for so long. So I also just want to say thank you to Lucasfilm. Um, it's just everybody that I worked with in Lucasfilm, uh, particularly Rain Roberts, my producer, was just, uh, had such like vision and hope and, and, uh, and like such a mission for what we were going to continue bringing into the sci-fi universe and into the Star yeah, you, what, what you need to do is you should never work at that producer ever again. It's because <laughs> he f sold you on a pro a false promise about this thing. Now, um, what she's saying about how she's thankful, I'm okay with that, right? If she if all she said was, I'm thankful I got to play this character, I'm really happy that I got to work with these cool people, that's all fine. If she said that, everyone would have been fine with it. But the fact that she said, everyone that hated the show is all right Nazi, uh, freaking, uh, you know, bigots and stuff like that. All right, all right, cool. Yeah, all right. What about the, you know, the people who are actually on your side, right? There, there was this. Um, there was. I have this uh, extremely another extremely woke friend. He's su he he's he's an artist. He draws a lot of pictures of Trump, uh, looking like a freaking monster and like how like it's it's he 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 he's an artist, right? And he's extremely left, TDS to the max, um, hates everything conservative and Republican. I understand, you know, people are setting their ways with their cult. Um, but when I posted that season two was canceled and Ecolite's no longer a thing, he actually said, I am glad they canceled it because I am i can't get on board with it. This is really terribly written. Now, if someone on their side is actually saying that, that means this shit fucking suck dick. Holy shit, man. Imagine if your side actually said your sh this show suck. I can't. I I I just didn't. I didn't di didn't vibe with it. That's saying something, man. Star Wars universe, and it was a really beautiful, energizing, life changing experience to be a part of. And, and I have to thank Leslie Headland, who just I just fucking love that bitch. She oh, just <laughs> oh oh my god, dude. Oh. Oh my god, dude. I, I to be honest, Leslie Leslie Headland like she sort of reminds me of the pot of greed card from Yu-Gi-Oh. You guys know what I'm talking about? You You guys know what I'm talking about? Pot of greed from Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, liter this fucking uh this Right over here. Oh my god, there there it is. That's that that's like her face is so fat. And this is I feel like she just looks like this. Right? Pot of greed. Draw draw two black girls and make them lame and gay. And uh it's it's I oh man, it's so she, it's so bad, dude. Excuse my friend. She's just one of the best people in the world. I think she's so incredibly talented and unique and kind, um, and I, I'll love her f forever. Uh, and I, and I will I love this experience with her forever. Um, but at the end of the day, I also just want to thank everybody who watched it. Thank you for being so loving and supportive and excited and see that's what she that that's what she should have said awesome. skip and, all of the um, like she skipped all the the, the, the garbage about like vitri like vitriol and and uh, alt right if she didn't say any of that this video would have been fine 
I'll continue to process this for a long time, but maybe the last thing I want to say on the subject is that we all exist in the context of all in which we live. <laughs> but I'm serious. She showed um, more emotion right here than she did in the show. lost on me how the way that these events have unfolded is also due to uh, the hyper divisiveness of the time that we live in that is driven, I would say at this point, by echo chambers of thought and and algorithms that reinforce our biases. She's not wrong there. And I think that applies to everybody. But I think that in a particular sect of people, it manifests as a lot of fear for what is changing, and a lot of hatred for anything that is other. And I would challenge us all and challenge myself to continue, continue questioning what it is that I digest um, and think critically about what shapes it. And uh, let's vote, y'all. <laughs> oh, let's vote. Let's vote. Oh, let's yeah. Vote. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, all right, yeah, cool. All right, I, we're going to vote. And uh, yeah, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. I'm going to vote for Donald Trump and J.D. Vance. And the fact that we got backing from... Okay, yeah. See, here's the thing. When they say, let's vote, y'all. Hey, y'all, let's vote. Hey, y'all. Y'all, y'all, let's vote, y'all. When they say that, when they said, okay, cool. I will vote for Donald Trump. They're like, not you, bigot. Not you. That, 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 that's what they're thinking about. Is that it? Well, this is 10 minutes long. We'll see if I post this. Bye. Okay. All right. Basically, a whole nothing burger. Basically, just uh, ca calling people bigots, racist, misogynist. Okay. Well, a rapist. What other word? Where are the word? A monster. A uh, fucking, um, a uh, fucking cocksucker. Whatever names that these people are going to call me, I don't care anymore. Okay. I, I don't care. But yeah, she's definitely going to vote for Kamala, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, man. But uh, yeah, it's just. All right, what, name me everything. Where all of those things, I'm. I'll, I'll, it, it will be a badge of honor to wear it. Bigot, sexist, racist, misogynist, um, f g g fucking uh, cock rider or whatever. Co co okay, don't call me that. All right, don't don't, don't don't call me cock rider. That that one sounds gross. But yeah, um, yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, w w let, let's vote, y'all. Let's vote, y'all. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be voting for Donald Trump. Absolutely.